Modding is easier than finding the right video on the hub, so let's get into it. First step is installing a mod manager. Mod organizer is the best. Download link is in the description. Click on the files tab and manual download mod organizer 2 under main files. You will need to create or log into your Nexus mods account. After that, click the free slow download option. Installation is the same as for any other software. Agree to sell your soul and select the installation folder. You shouldn't install it on desktop or inside system folders like program files cause it might cause some issues later. But hey, I'm not your dad. Yet. When installed, you need to create new modding instance. You can think of an instance as a toy box and mods being the toys inside of it. For the first one, I usually go with portable one. Select Skyrim Special Edition. If you don't see it in the list, scroll down. Click Browse and navigate to Skyrim's installation folder manually. Select the game edition. I have Skyrim on Steam. Click Next and Next. To link MO2 to Nexus, click on Connect to Nexus button. New window will pop up. Click on Authorize and boom, you're Gucci. Tutorial? Nah, I'd win. If you get this category pop up and you have linked MO2 to Nexus successfully, click on Import. Otherwise click Do Nothing, cause you know. If asked to associate NXM links, Select yes. The first thing you might want to do is click on the wrench icon at the top. Click on theme and change it to dark one. I personally like paper dark. Trust me, your eyes will thank you. You can also link the Nexus from Nexus tab if you haven't been able to already. If asked to restart, do it. Congratulations, your mod organizer is now fully set up and ready for you to install your first mod. Best place to get mods is on Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. Click the globe icon in MO2 and select Skyrim SE. Feel free to browse the site for anything you might find, uh, interest. Jesus in Skyrim. When installing any mod, always, and I mean always, check if it has any requirements you need to install. Jesus only has optional ones. Also, read the mod page to see if it has any special installation instructions. To download the mod, go to the files tab and click on mod manager download. If it doesn't have this option, download the mod manually. Head back into mod organizer and go to the download step. You should see that the mod is downloading. When downloaded, double click the mod to install. If you downloaded the mods manually, either A, drag and drop the file into your mod list, or B, click the second icon at the top, find the mod and install. If you get this annoying pop-up about categories, click stop and configure. Now refresh from Nexus, then import Nexus cats. OK and OK. From now on, there should be no more annoying pop-ups. Double click the mod again. You can rename the mod if you want to. Some mods come with faux mod that will give you options to select for example different texture sizes or patches for other mods. Click OK and it will get installed. By default, newly installed mods are disabled. To enable it, simply tick the box next to it. And congratulations, you have officially installed your first Skyrim mod. Pro tip, you can also create mod separators to keep your mods organized by clicking the three dots and create separator. As you can see, Jesus contained one plugin file. When you install new mod that adds plugins, Click the sort button above the plugin list. This will run tool called loot that will sort the plugins for you and give you guidance if you are missing any known requirements or patches. When you install two mods that edit the same files, you will get a conflict signalized by these lightning bolts. Since mods get loaded from top to bottom, bottom one has higher priority and you will see its textures in game. Ok, now it's time to check if the mods work. You have to launch the game from MO2 to play with mods. So let me just quickly cock to white run. And hey, there he is! Now for the script extender. Open your Skyrim installation folder. Right click Skyrim SE, select properties and detail. Keep note of your Skyrim version. Great, now go to this site. I know it looks a bit sketchy, but trust me, it's safe. Download SKSE based on your Skyrim version. You most likely want this one. When downloaded, extract the file and open it. Now copy everything from the extracted folder to your Skyrim installation folder. Awesome, now we need to edit to mod organizer. Head back into MO2 and click the arrow button. Add new executable by clicking plus icon and add from file. Navigate to Skyrim's installation folder and select skse64loader.exe. Finally, change the start in path to Skyrim's installation folder. Now click apply and OK. Select SKSE from the drop-down menu and launch the game. Do not ever unlock when loading the game. When you are in the main menu, open console and type get SKSE version. If you get output similar to this, everything is working fine. Yeah, that's everything you need to know. No, please don't install Gunner mods. 